Pythons are presented in the U.S. with one of the most challenging invasive species problems in the world. And the solution could be a fork and a dinner plate. It's snake meat. <laughs> snake meat? <laughs> These snakes are running rampant in Florida, decimating local wildlife. Since 1997, they've effectively eradicated a number of species from the Everglades, reducing the populations of others by upwards of 98%. At about 16 feet long, with some weighing up to 200 pounds, more than 100,000 pythons are estimated to be in southern Florida. A lot of snakes, huh? But while there are a major problem there, these snakes could provide the world with its most sustainable source of meat yet. That's according to an international team of researchers in Southeast Asia. Snakes, 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 that's what I study. Their year-long study into commercial python farms found the serpents required less resources to care for than other livestock. Raising more traditional farm animals like chickens, pigs, and cattle accounts for 15% of the planet's annual greenhouse gases. Much of that total comes from growing the food they need to be fed, which can be a lot. Birds and mammals burn about 90% of the energy from food they eat, simply maintaining a constant body temperature. But pythons could help cut down on those livestock emissions since they convert food into weight gain much more efficiently as cold-blooded animals. The snakes can rapidly gain weight, even when fed inconsistently. In fact, they can go more than four months without food and still manage to not drop much weight. Oh, snake. While snake meat is already widely consumed across parts of Asia, and even considered a delicacy in some, that's not exactly the case for most American diners. Why did it have to be snakes? But Florida does have plenty of pythons. Expanding your palate just might help solve a pair of pressing environmental issues. So, would you eat a snake? If it could help, save the planet.